This is one of the hardest offenses to stop in Madden 23. I like it, cut G. It has three of the most explosive run plays in the game that are guaranteed to always leave your opponent guessing. As well as passing plays that beat every defense. Everything, everything. So if you guys want to see one of the hardest run play offenses to stop in Madden 23 that has helped me win 75% of my online games, as well as an exciting gameplay that goes down to the final drive, then stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm using my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook one more time and my Miami Dolphins defensive ebook one more time. I will be showing some defensive plays and some blitzes throughout this video, so if you guys need them, I will have them as well. Other than that, I have an important question for you guys. Uh, a lot of people have been saying they want more gameplays, so let me know in the comment section if this is the type of video you'd like to see, other than my typical like highlight reel footage where I basically like breaking down individual plays. I find those are a little bit easier to get more specific about a specific offense, but if you guys want to see full gameplays, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Now, this particular gameplay i don't typically show the starting kickoff unless something happens and since i'm not receiving the ball you know something bad happens look at the kick return coverage on this first play there is nobody on the right side of the field i mean what is that only one guy keeping this guy from the end zone and he gets pancaked i try to catch up but i guess my dude just isn't as fast as his return guy <laughs> And he's going to the house on the very first play. I hate to be that guy, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fullback kicking the rest of this game. Let's see if I can do that on the other side. The offense I'm going to be using today is going to be the gun tight offset TE. I just want to make sure that my fastest receiver is in this spot here and my second best receiver is going to be in this spot here. Those are going to be the spots to get the most work. Now there's a lot of really explosive passing plays in this formation, but I'm not going to focus on them too much. I did show the PA shot scenes as a one play touchdown against a lot of different things. I showed that in yesterday's video, so I'll have a link in the description for that if you guys want to check that out. There's a lot more explosive plays in this formation though, like the bench. Plays like the Y out halfback swing. If you want to see a bunch of one play touchdowns out of this formation, that'll probably be done more like a highlight reel footage video. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. But today we're gonna to be focused on the run plays. I got some very neat run plays. Plays like the halfback counter, which is one of the best run plays in this formation. The 0-1 trap, which is a very hard run play to stop. And then of course the inside zone, which is gonna be one of the most common. Now my opponent in his last play came out in a cover three, so I try to come out in my cover three one play touchdown bomb. But when I come out, I see they clearly change that. So we're gonna hit him with the inside zone. This particular play here is gonna be one of the brand and butter plays there's some really good pass plays out of this as well plays like the saint spot which is probably my favorite dink and dunk pass play aside from maybe the mesh spot these are going to be the two plays that i use the most when it comes to dinking and dunking to keep my opponent off balance on the next play we're just gonna we don't have to make any adjustments on this play that's one of the things i like about it you're gonna see that the x route and the drags get open easily i get the third and inches i'll get the first down so i try to keep in this formation i don't want to come out and run heavy defense so i, I hit him with a hurry up just to get that first down <laughs> I also really like the halfback slip screen. I'm going to use that quite a bit. That's something that your opponent, you know, there's so much stuff going on here. There's so many different plays that your opponent's never really going to see plays like this coming. But on the next play, once again, we're just going to hit him with that inside zone because I see anytime I have a gap over that center, I'm going to hit him with that. And you can see that we're already breaking off a lot of big runs. I try to hit him with the halfback counter, but the force Buckner just comes through and blows that up. And when I get back to the huddle, it turns out he's been hitting me with a run blitz. If he's going to hit me with a man zero run blitz, I'm going to go out and I'm going to hit him with the same spot. The X route and the A route are both very good man beater routes with no adjustment on the next play though it looks like he's gonna cover three we're gonna dot that up easily even with a bad tight end we're beating that outside i typically pass mostly out of this formation but my opponent does such a good job usering he's a really smart user number one he's always on the open side of the field and he's always covering the slot defenders that's where the most work gets to anyway and he's all over that so for the most part he shuts down a large part of my passing offense nope from this because he's like i say he's a very smart user on the next play does the same thing i probably could hit the x route right away but i was looking for that y route so sure enough he shuts me down gets me to a third and long i'm gonna go back and use the saints fork i put out a video not too long ago about this particular offense if you guys want to see that video I have a link in the description this is my go-to third down offense anytime i need a play this is the play that gets it for me and sure enough we dot it up for a touchdown right in the corner of the end zone so we score on the first possession of the game and on the next kickoff, I hate to be that guy, but kicking to the fullback really is the only way. I mean, the kick return coverage is so bad in this game, it's really not worth taking that risk. So we're going to kick to the fullback. No. Next series on defense. I don't know what type of throw that was, but it really looks like Matt Ryan might have lost a little off his fastball. On the next play, I try to go for the interception. Oh. 
and I just totally shoot myself in the foot. Luckily, it wasn't a fast receiver, and we caught up to him. He tries to run the ball quite a bit, which you'd think most people would do with Jonathan Taylor, but we... I shot him on third and long, we're going to hit with the DB fire too. This is a very good blitz from last year. It still works really well. All you really have to do is put your user on a blitz, bring him down over the gap, and basically just try to pull a guard back after the ball is hiked. I try to spread the defensive line, which also helps. You can see that blitz is just instant. Forcing him to kick a field goal. Back on the offensive side, I tried to hit the halfback counter earlier, but I ran into a man blitz. Now he's in something a little bit more pulled back, and you're going to see how good this play really works. This play works so well, number one, because most people don't know this play exists. Typically, most of the run plays go right up the middle. This one here goes to the outside, and it's just something that most people aren't accounting for. Then on the next play, he hits me with a cornerback blitz. We just hit the uh, the flats once again. Christian McCaffrey gets his typical workload in today's gameplay. Right up the middle one more time. He stops me a little bit short, but you can see I mean, we're averaging over seven yards of carry so far. Then on the next play, I mean, we're just hitting that zig, hit him with that truck stick. And this is the game plan. We're just trying to kill clock, score a touchdown, take the lead, give him the ball back at half with no time. And that's pretty much what we're doing here is we're hitting with the inside zone one more time. On the next play, like I said, his user is always in the right spot. He's all over that drag. I got to throw it away. Third and one, we're going to hit him with that inside run one more time. And this first down is going to be decided by who can hit their A button the fastest. So with 35 seconds left, we're hitting him in the flats one more time. Like I said, Christian McCaffrey's a boss. He's going to get a workload. He's mostly getting all the catches and all the runs. On third and inches, he's got the hard flats out. We go over the middle to that little comeback route. That always gets forgotten, but it's always open. We get down to the one, and we have to use our last timeout. With 22 seconds left, we want to do a QB sneak, but if we get caught, we might not get anything. So with only some seconds left before half, we get to pull out some pass rushes. I'm going to show you guys some really good pass rushes out of my Miami Dolphins defensive ebook. Number one, the 146 is one of the fastest blitzing packages in the game. The first blitz I'm going to start off with is the cross three fire. This one is an absolute glitch. All you got to do is pinch the entire defense. That's the RB button or the R1 button and down on the left stick. Then you typically want to guess pass and bring your user, which is Jeremy Chin here, down into the gap. I didn't even get the full setup in, but look how this guy just loops around and gets instant pressure and almost gets a sack or maybe even an interception. The next play is going to be the Spinner Dog 3. I chose this one because it's very similar, but it's a lot easier to set up. Says my opponent didn't give me a ton of time last time. This is all you really got to do. It's just like the DB Fire 2. Just have to blitz your user, drop him over the guard, and then drop back once the play starts. You can see, once again, instant pressure. So, of course, he got nothing before half. Nope. Second half, we get the ball. Almost throw an interception on the first play. That was a close one. Down the next play, he just breaks in. Surprise, motherfucker. And third down, I get nothing. So we got to give him the ball right back. Then on offense, he gets the ball for only the second time in the game. So I really don't know what his offense looks like. And he starts beating me up with some really big pass plays, some chunk plays. Here he beats my user right over the middle with a very interesting route that I just didn't see coming. Then on the third down play, he tries to beat me outside with a corner route. Gotcha, bitch. We're all over that. We're Johnny on the spot. So back on offense, starting in our own territory, we're just going to hit him with some nice underneath stuff. Like I said, Chris McCaffrey is going to be getting some work in this game. And on the next play, we're going to hit him with that counter play one more time. Like I said, this is probably my favorite he's stacking the box pretty deep inside he gets caught up in the garbage and sure enough we're going right outside for another big run play as we're just breaking off runs left and right the next play though i want to hit him with something he hasn't seen yet we hit him with a screenplay like i said i do like to use that screenplay quite a bit and sure enough it just counts it's almost like an extra run play as we get another big play then since he's stacking the middle the o and trap is the natural answer for somebody who likes to stack the middle we go with a nice little juke to get a couple extra yards and you can see we're averaging about eight yards per carry all we really need is a field goal to go ahead here we get our 100 yard gain on third and six, we're hitting that flat one more time. Nobody can cover Christian McCaffrey. He's an absolute boss. If there's a team you guys would like me to use in a future gameplay, let me know in the comments section. I know he's blitzing heavy, so I try to hit him with a counter. It gets caught up one more time. Nope. But on the next play, I get a weird animation. I mean, I was about six yards in bounds. It just carried me right out. Third and 15. I come out with my third down play one more time. And on the next play, he's usering to the point where he just lets his tight end get right up the middle. But since my tight end isn't fast enough, he's being covered by Darius Lander. Throw an interception. Ooh, that's bad. Which turns out to be a good thing because he gets an interception on the one yard line. That's good. I'm going straight to my best run defense. This is my goal line run defense. Three, four odd, cover four quarters. I'm just going to press the entire defense, which is RB, R1 down on the left stick. Then I'm going to hard flat, go the full nine, blitz all my guys. And last but not least, run commit because if we can get a safety here, the game is over.
He got nothing, even with Jonathan Taylor. And that's going to be it. My boy's going to quit. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, do me a favor. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. And I can do more gameplays like this. If you want to see another gameplay video, I have a link popping up right now. Check that out. I'm sure to help out your game as well. And other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.